Welcome back to the Ritzy Travel Guide, and in this edition we have the Coronation Cruise aboard the Queen Mary 2. Now at the time of the cruise, each day we put out a small daily vlog, little snippets of what had happened, but it was only tiny little bits, and we've been asked to put together a complete video of what happened on the Coronation Cruise, which is what you're seeing here. Incidentally, this is a companion video to several others we have on our channel covering the Queen Mary 2 that you ought to go and take a look at after this video. So relive that giddy week when King Charles got coronated and some of us were on board the Queen Mary 2, bobbing back and forth from Liverpool. This is the Coronation Cruise. Well, welcome to the Ritzy Travel Guide. Hello, gang. We're here on board the Queen Mary 2 for the Coronation Cruise. Just arrived, everybody's gathering and getting their cabin keys and having some lunch. And we're going to be going sailing away in a couple of hours. Very smart looking uniforms. All the guests checking in and coming aboard. The pianist is tinkling away on the ivories. And the ship is looking as timeless and as elegant as ever. A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from me, Captain Asim Ashmi. Again, a very warm welcome to all our guests who embark today in Southampton for a special coronation voyage to Liverpool. I'm pleased to say we now have everyone on board and all our departure checks are complete. The sail away party for the Coronation Cruise. Queen Mary 2! It's wonderful to have you all here. This is indeed our centenary celebration voyage here on board. And we're going to start it off with style. We are ready to take off, should we say, from Southampton and to leave our dockside shortly. We want to do it in style with some great music. <laughs> We are so glad to have you here with us. We look forward to seeing you around the ship. Ship swarms going, we're on our way. The Coronation Cruise is headed to Liverpool. Here we are, freshly arrived in our cabin. And just to confirm, we are indeed on the Coronation Cruise. Here we are bedecked with flags on the bed. And by our bed, complimentary bubbles to get the cruise going. 
There we go, being phased out on some cruise lines, but still here, live and kicking with Cunard, is the Daily Cruise Directors TV channel. <laughs> some of the cabins have really made an effort. Look at this one. Okay, in an effort to join in the sentiment and atmosphere of the occasion, let's put our bunting. Are you intending to go from bow to aft on this one? Evening one in the main dining room for the main course, the steak Diane, and it came with a caramelized Stilton cracker, and that was delicious. And there is a cream baked pot with orzo, but that piece of pot is cooked up to perfection. Well done, chefs. Now, a tip for you. In the main dining room, while you're having your meal, there's a choice of coffee. Now, there's absolutely no reason you can't ask for a cappuccino, so do go for it. Okay, after dinner, ships walk about, I hear music coming from the Queen's room. So they're really getting into it? Let's take a little wander next door into the G32. Ooh, funky. I'm digging the vibe in here. Cocktail time! Really liking the lights in here, it's got a Manhattan clubby feel to it. So that brings to an end the first 24 hours aboard the Queen Mary 2 on this Coronation Cruise. We'll try wherever we can, signal permitting, to bring the videos and photos of what's happening so you can feel a part of it all. Well, good morning, day two of the Coronation Cruise aboard the Queen Mary 2. Today is a sea day as we steam towards the port of Liverpool. And as the sun rises, the deck activity is beginning to get into gear. Now, in theory, the swimming pools are in action. The covers are off, they have cleaned it. Will we see anybody in them? Will there be any early morning dippers? Jacuzzis have just been spruced up. Let's do a finger test. Hang on a minute. Nope, that's not warm. Don't think anybody's going to be getting in that one. It is quite a bracing morning. It'll be a brave person who gets in here. Oh, hang on. We do have some people in the jacuzzis. And the swimming pool. Oh, there are actually people in it. Okay, as it's a sea day, we have to amuse ourselves around the ship. So let's into the theatre because we have the former Royal Press Secretary, Dickie Arbiter, about to speak. Good. And before late Queen went to Windsor Castle, she was there. And she always liked to talk to her retirees, so we had a chat. And uh, as I was taking my leave, I could see a sparkle in her eye. And as I took my leave, she said, I still see you still wearing those dreadful ties. <laughs> Okay, lunchtime. Let's see what the King's Court Buffet has in offer. So we have some pesto gnocchi, some beef cannelloni, and some pasta bolognese. Okay. 
Let's have a little wonder and see what's going on. Well, at least one of us is making an effort. Well done, wifey. OK, just for pretense and for no other reason, I shall walk a few paces. It's gala evening on the Queen Mary 2. Always quite magnificent on gala formal nights when everybody's dressed up looking their best. They've even got the candelabra out for the occasion. How about that? Take it up a notch. Everybody's all in their finery and loving it. You've just got to love the Britannia dining room. And here we are, the gala evening. Black and white is the theme. Dressed accordingly. Could I have the stroke of pork belly? It's still very And the beef welling. Would you like your picture? We do. No, no, absolutely not. Cheers. It's the Gala Evening on board Queen Mary 2 on the Coronation Cruise. And we've been given the lovely window view. Okay, it's arrived. So we had the beef wellington on this front. I asked for medium rare. I suppose that's the sort of medium rare. We have some asparagus, we have some roast potatoes, and some carrots, and some courgettes. And over here we have sole and shrimps in a buttery sauce with asparagus. That looks nicely presented. Quite enjoying this. It's well seasoned. The pastry is nice. Crispy stroke soft in the middle. The beef is exactly as I requested. I asked for medium rare. And the sauce is a nice wine reduction jus. I think the chef did a good job on this one. As we approach Liverpool, here comes the pilot to guide us in. He's going at top speed, he's in a hurry. Is he late? <laughs> Okay, time for desserts. I'm mindful of this prune and armagnac sticky toffee pudding. Not really a prune fan, but I am a fan of armagnac and of sticky toffee pudding. What is this? It's carrot at the bottom and cheese at the top. It's a carrot cake and a cheesecake together. With top, with caramel. Little drops. It is the in-chef thing to do. Little droplets of sauce. And I? don't like prunes, but I've gone for the sticky toffee prune pudding. Well, against the odds, apparently I like prunes. I never thought I was a prune person. Aren't you ever given prunes when you're needing to clear your bowels or your stomach? But this is a delicate hint of prunes. Lots of sticky toffee pudding. A bit like your one. There's two dishes in one. Sticky toffee pudding and prunes are supposed to be two separate dishes. But they've merged and they've melded them and didn't need it. Totally full. But he falls in coming. Yes, please. What do you have here? Truffles. Truffles. Meringue. Meringues. Meringues. And what's the other one? Passion fruit. Passion fruit. All right. Let's try them all. Passion fruit. Are you in slow motion? 
what is quite delicate and it is slow. Is there not? Is it plain? In the meantime, because dinner has taken quite some time, we're coming up to two hours now, and the coffees have not long arrived, and the putty four. Um, sorry, point being, it's got dark in that time. That was what I was trying to say. Back to the putty four. Okay, that was boring. Try another one. Is that one also dull? If we really wanted to be scientific, we'd ask each and every person here whether they enjoyed their meal. But I shan't, because they wouldn't be happy if I did that. Okay, gala dinner over. I hear a big swinging band in the... Ooh, where'd that way to go? Didn't want to be on camera. I hear a big swinging band in the main area. This music sounds fun. Let's go and hunt it down. We're in the Queen's room. All the dancing people are out. Dancing shoes on, best foot forward. The Queen's Room always looks great when everybody's got their glad rags on. It elevates it. It's loud and grassy and jazzy. Everybody's sashaying their way across the floor. Day three of the Coronation Cruise aboard the Queen Mary 2 with the Ritzy Travel Guide. Well, after having spent a day and a half at sea, we finally arrived at Liverpool, the spiritual home, apparently, of the Queen Mary 2. There we go, the iconic skyline of Liverpool. And even before we got here, the Liverpool Press was heralding our arrival from the front pages. Right, well that's enough of this dilly-dallying. Into town. Down through the bowels of the ship. Let's find the gangway. Here we go. Imagining what bygone cruisers would have felt like as they come on and off the ship. Okay, bit of maintenance work going on while we're going ashore. Bracing day, bracing day. <laughs> Um, there's no confusion, we haven't suddenly docked in the Bahamas or the Caribbean. It's a coolish, blustery May, almost midsummer's day in England. Okay, maintenance gang is out. No peace and rest for the crew. Bit of chipping, bit of scraping. And if you've not cruised to Liverpool before, you dock right downtown, just a hop and a skip to the attractions. I'll have to walk past this building, the Cunard building. It would be churlish not to. And just a hop and a skip from where the Queen Mary II is birthed, we have the Albert Docks. Let's take a little look round.
And it's the propeller from the Lusitania in 1909. Well, if the Queen Mary II has a technical problem, it can always come and borrow this one. And time for the Beatles experience. In we go, Beatles, here we come. If you've not been to Liverpool before, it's very walkable. Just about everywhere is pedestrianised. Almost feel like we're in Germany for just a moment. Well, if we didn't already have a coronation dinner lined up on the cruise, we might almost be tempted by this German beer keller. Look at that, the scale of it. Stop thinking about food. There's load on board the cruise. Not even sure why I'm looking in this window at this Turkish bread maker. But he wanted to be on film, so I've taken him. We've thoroughly enjoyed our port stop in Liverpool. We've spent four or five hours walking around the centre. Just decided to saunter here, saunter there, see where it takes us. Very easy to get around, all pedestrianised. Several interesting shops. It's well worth a look if you haven't been here before. Ah, back on board the ship, what do we have? Warm towel. Yes. Very civilised, thank you. Well, back on the ship in time for a spot of tea. Should always be back by 3.45 really. It would be a shame not to have the delicacies on offer. So we have a selection of little delicacies to keep us tied over until dinner time. And just to really keep the wall from the door, a couple of top-ups. It's quiz time. It is quiz time, and everybody's Okay, that attention. was question at number five. Keep it going. Hello. What do we have on the menu tonight in the main dining room? We have pork, we have chicken liver, we have lamb ram. And what would you suggest? What's good? <laughs> Everything is good, isn't it? And on the menu tonight, he just recommended the Trina Pork Knuckle. I'm not sure I've always been a pork knuckle fan. We have pan roasted three onion pork loin with mature cheddar cheese. We have the rainbow trout and the potato gnocchi. Incoming appetizers, chicken liver. That's been nicely presented, actually, and came pretty smartish. I would say that was about 11 minutes from order to arriving on the table. Six. Six. Oh, I've been corrected. Six minutes. And this end, it's a riot of, well, beige. It's all the same colour. It's beige, beige, beige. It could have done with a dash of colour. And onto the main course, we have rainbow trout, which is nicely plated up. Is that, are those nuts on the top? What is that on the top? Uh, almond flakes. Almonds, okay. Looks very nice with a potato. I think it's a... Like some applesauce. Why not? Let's have some applesauce to go with my very cheesy pork. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. 6.15 sitting is the best. We're in the upper section of the restaurant and I tell you what, I think because we were in port in Liverpool, I think that um, must be a lot of people still out in the town. I have never seen this restaurant so empty. Today is very, very fast. It is very fast. I think we're going to be in and out in about 40 minutes. Unheard of. And we're up on deck for some sail away fireworks.
into the night we go. Day four of the coronation cruise aboard the Queen Mary 2. Yesterday was our port day at Liverpool. Now we're starting our two day trundle back, almost drifting on the tide, back to Southampton. What's going on around the ship? Let's take a peek. Okay, absolutely nobody here. Are they on the other side? Okay, we can hear it already coming around the ship. In the Queen's room, I hear Zumba on the go. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Every count of change. One, two, three, four. Round. All the way through, I promise. Okay. This leg now drives. This leg comes. So we're going forwards. We go. Right. We're waiting for the coronation parade to start. Everyone has been invited to dress patriotically and has done so with gusto. Everyone wants to take selfies today because of the procession. Got to get the procession route just so. I get the feeling it's going to start any second. Okay, people trooping in for the afternoon tea. They've been trumpeted it in. There's almost a rush. Wouldn't call it that, we're on Cunard, but let's call it a fast paced shuffle. They've spent all morning making these ice sculptures. Okay, let's head into tea in the famous Queen's room. Start clapping! what they were again, I didn't hear. So I have hazelnut financiers, chocolate banana cream mugs, apple tart and key lime pie. The chocolate would be key great, lime thank lime. you. I had a key lime pie at lunchtime, so that would be gluttony. Today is day five, the actual coronation day, the crowning, going on back at Westminster Abbey in London. Here on the ship, I'm on the windy side, a little bit overcast, a little bit grey. Been watching the early preparations on BBC, which they have on the ship's TV, what's been happening back in London. Here, what's most important is what are we having for breakfast? Well, let's catch up with the ship's crew, because there's no passengers to see who's walking along. Putting the cushions away, are we expecting serious storm weather? Okay, anybody got a ruler? Let's line these chairs up on the deck. Didn't realise that 7am would be so busy. 
I almost feel like there's going to be an inspection later on. Like Horse Guards Parade. We'll call this Deck Chair Parade. But before we even think of coronation things back in London, here on the ship, the most important consideration at this time of day is breakfast. Breakfast first, then we'll watch the coronation. I wonder if we're going to have a coronation-themed breakfast. What are you doing to it? Doing some crowds on the serving stations. Let's go and have a look. Okay, there's no crowns, but the breakfast does look good. Okay, I think we'll have some of that, some of that, some of that, and some of that. Ooh, and some of those. Okay, that should keep the wolf from the door. Coronation Day breakfast selection. Get it off to a good start. Okay, heading to the theatre for the screening. Okay, we're here, we're in position, in the theatre. There we go. Our souvenir special edition ready to watch it. We'll be able to pick out the relevant people. Setting up our stall, got our apples, bag, binoculars, telescope, theatre glasses, drinks, sustenance, almost a gin and tonic, but 8 o'clock in the morning is a bit early for that. Carriage looks quite beautiful. sustenance after watching the coronation for four and a half hours a quick visit to the Corinthia lounge doesn't that look presentable very good charcuterie board yummy yummy desserts let's see what's going out on deck what coronation day things are going on out there let's have a look all righty Bit of sea watching. Let's take a coronation day perambulation. Past the posh grill restaurant. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. Well, here's a place we don't visit very often. It's the laundrette. Now, these are free facilities. You don't need to be bringing your coins to operate them no coin up here on the QM2. For those who want to know what sort of laundry facilities do you get on the QM2, we've got a whole load of drying machines, one, two, three, four, one of them out of order. We've got a whole load of washing machines, one, two, three, four. Now, I'm not a specialist. Do you just put those sheets in? Oh, all right. Surprised they didn't cover that lot up. 
right next to the machines. Suddenly, it's suddenly seen behind the scenes with the ship. It's a bit like crew's quarters in the laundry room. They haven't wood panelled this room. Not needed, of course. Why would you wood panel a laundry room? So you're seeing back to basics ship interior. It's a bit like being on a sea link in here, really. Okay, that's more than enough of the laundry. I tell you what, let's go and have a bit of excitement. Let's go and look in the library. Bound to be buzzing. Okay, shh, not a word. Quiet as we can be. I think they bought those computers in 1998. Do we need any fluffy toys? Or key rings? Ooh, got lions. As we steam ever closer to Southampton and the sun starts to set, this has been the fifth and final vlog live from the Queen Mary 2 of the Coronation Cruise. Now, over the next coming days and weeks, we have so many more videos covering the elements we didn't have time for and those we want to go into into extra special detail. The restaurants, the cabins, the facilities on board, the bits we didn't have time to cover this time. So please remember to subscribe and you'll know exactly when those videos drop over coming days and weeks. Thanks so much for joining us with this live vlog from the Ritzy Travel Guide. Watch some of our Queen Mary 2 videos now. <laughs>